Have you heard about the time beloved British character Mr. Bean tried to kill the Queen? That's right, Mr. Bean actually once tried to kill the Queen of England. Oh, it was a different. All right, I'm being told that it was a different Mr. Bean that tried to kill the Queen, but a man named Mr. Bean did try to kill the Queen of England. A man named John William Bean, to be exact, lived in Victorian England and thanks to a case of tuberculosis, he was actually maimed and severely crippled. Born in 1824, Mr. Bean was a news vendor, selling newspapers to townspeople, a job that worked well along with his disabilities. However, one day he came across an article about a man named Edward Oxford, who tried to assassinate Queen Victoria. He learned that Oxford was actually sent to an insane asylum where he was able to read and learn and play instruments. These all sounded like luxuries to Mr. Bean, who was poor and disabled, having no semblance of luxury in his life. This article of attempted assassination stayed in the mind of Mr. Bean. He developed a plan and soon sold off all of his possessions. He began stalking Buckingham Palace, looking for an opportunity to shoot the Queen. Finally, on July 3rd, 1842, Mr. Bean was on the mall near the palace when Queen Victoria was passing by. He shoved his way to the front of the crowd and fired at the Queen. However, the gun misfired, and the Queen and staff barely even noticed the commotion. A bystander actually saw Mr. Bean try to shoot the Queen and tried to turn him in, but the police didn't really have any evidence that the crime was even committed. Eventually, the cops did become convinced, but by that time, Mr. Bean had escaped. A manhunt was launched, and after several hours, Mr. Bean was caught. Rather than be sent to an insane asylum, though, Mr. Bean was sentenced to 18 months of hard labor. Not exactly what he had hoped for. The entire escapade actually led to the passing of the Treason Act of 1842, establishing different sentences for minor treason offenses, like failing so bad at trying to assassinate the Queen that she and her guards barely even noticed. <laughs>